Well guys, this is Connor with Brown and Daughters Honey and they're finally here. The two inch tent plugs from Nature's Image Farm, Greg Burns, all the way from Zanesville, Ohio, shipped to my brother-in-law in New Orleans, Louisiana, and then finally put on an airplane with one of his childhood friends who just happened to be coming back home to Israel to visit his family. These were dropped off at the farm two days ago, three days ago. I finally picked them up. Um, and I've started to make some bucket feeders, some hive top bucket feeders. I just got home from work and started drilling out the lids. And I, and I have actually made a discovery that I wanted to share with you. I'm here with one of the, one of the daughters from Brown and Daughters Honey. She's very much enjoying the tent plugs. And hopefully uh, she is not a great shop assistant and she's not a great production assistant. So let's see how this video goes. All right, let me go ahead and show you what I was talking about. Okay, so I ordered a, um, a, let's read it right here, a 1 and 15th, 16th Forstner bit. And I used this to drill out the holes for the two inch tent plugs. It, because of the malleability of the tent plug, this being somewhat undersized will allow it a really snug fit. Problem I ran into, and let's see if you can see that. Hopefully it focuses. These are very, the rake on those teeth are very, very aggressive. Now, whenever I first started to drill them out, the rake was so aggressive, the teeth were so aggressive, they just caught on this plastic and blew it out. Now, I don't know if the plastic is brittle to begin with, or if just under that amount of, of strain, they became brittle. So hopefully these will stand up in the weather, but you can see right here, it blew it out completely. This one, you can see even better. These teeth dug in huge bites and just uh, ripped out giant chunks. Uh, I did get some to work and it did put a hole in it, but hopefully this will focus. You can see here, that it's very jagged and it doesn't even look truly circular. I finally discovered that if I run this in reverse, instead of running forward so those teeth can grab that plastic, if I stack some of my rejects, so kind of like when you're making pancakes, the first pancake is always the sacrificial pancake, pulls that heat out, uh, of the pan, it kind of, you know, mops up that butter that might have gotten burnt or whatever. It's the same thing. First few were sacrificial. If I stack a few up to kind of put some support under my new one, and then instead of going forward, I go in reverse, the very edges of those sharp teeth will just layer by layer slice off the, uh, the plastic and make what I think, make sure this is a good one, what I think is a really nice, clean cut. You've got some, uh, a little bit of a burr on there. I can pull that off with a pen knife. Um, but, but it's, it's a really nice, um, fit and you can see it's really tight. It works. It's great. I got these buckets. They're five liter, which is about one and a quarter gallon. I got these from Hooverman and Petach Tikva which is a city north of us. Um, just in case there are any other Israeli beekeepers on here, I'll go ahead and put a link 
Probably won't have to though. Everyone here knows Huberman. That's where I got my jars. Uh, that's and that's where I went ahead and got these bucket uh, for the bucket feeder. They don't have. They're not like Greg Burns buckets where it has the rubber inner gasket. If those are here, I have no idea where to get them. But I think these sh these should be okay. I mean, these are made for um, you know like for food distribution and whatnot. They hold. Uh, I've seen these in restaurants, pickles, olive oils. And I'll go ahead and get a, get these on a bucket, fill it up with water, and see if it holds water. Okay, I'm back. I've gone ahead and filled up this bucket with water, and we're going to see. You want to see if it holds water? Oh, she got up. She's smart. Walked away. Okay, there we go. I can live another day because I didn't spill five liters of water all over the kitchen floor. Uh, just for the curious, <clears throat> see how these compare to the buckets um, in the United States. This is nine and a half, just over nine and a half inches in diameter. And the bucket itself is, <clears throat> let's see, six and just about six and a quarter uh, about six and a quarter inches tall and for our metric friends i guess that's me also it is 25 24.5 centimeters the circum the uh diameter and the bucket is right on i don't know 15 yeah i don't know just 15 and a half 15.5 centimeters I don't really know how that compares to the buckets back in the States. Um, but I think, you know, given the fact that the, our lids are 22, 21, 22 inches long and 16 inches, uh, which is 50.5 centimeters and 41.5 um, uh, centimeters. This is, this will more than fit on top of our lids. Um, these are, these are pretty cool. We'll see how long they stand up. Uh, in the against the UV um, in the in the coming year, but I just wanted to make that quick video. Uh, give a shout out to Greg Burns at Nature's Image Farm. Um, we weren't able to get these shipped all the way over here to Israel, uh, but I kind of did some a little bit of what we call Jewish geography. Hey, do you know this guy? Do you know this guy? Do you know this guy? And I was able to get them uh, over here, and I got a hundred, which is more than I'll need. I figure I'll put uh, two per hive, one in the bucket. And then one in the migratory lid, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, well, thanks for joining us. It is hot, 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 around 80% humidity uh, and close to 100 degrees. No beekeeping right now. So hopefully it'll cool down a little bit so I can get back on those hives and see how everyone's doing. Take care. This is a test. This is a test. Here we are.